Hi guys, so today I'm going to review the microwave egg muffin pan by Nordicware. And if you know about Nordicware, they sell a lot of um, baking items, things uh, for, for like, like toaster ovens, convection ovens, like smaller pans, things like that, because they, they are smaller items, so you would need these things. Um, they sell a lot of like cast iron, but they also sell a lot of microwave um, cooking items. And this one, I have several of these. I have three of these. This is the third one, I guess, that I bought. And I bought it because the other one got a little bit warped. It still works, but um, it was made out of fashion plastic, and I'll show it to you guys. It's like green, and it just doesn't keep up as well as this one does. The one that's with the clear and the classic microwave um, so I'm gonna stuff do is here. So I'm going to open this up and make a sandwich that looks a lot like what they're showing here. It is super easy. This is great for college dorms if you just have a little fridge and a microwave or access to a microwave. You're just going to need eggs, cheese if you like it. You can put meat, any kind of meat in there. I wouldn't do like bacon because unless it's already cooked. Um, but you know, you can put ham, um, turkey, some people use that. But anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do is open it up and go to my kitchen and show you how to use it. It's very, very easy, but I'll just show you right now. So when you take it out of this, um, I got this one at Target that I run like $3.99. Might be a little cheaper at Walmart. And so you open it up. You can use either side to put the egg in. I like to use the white side because it's white and the clear I can see through into the top of it. But I will open this up and show you how it works. Kitchen. And what I was going to show you is, um, I'm going to put this to the side for a second. Usually while this cooks, it only takes one minute. Um, I put in a bagel or an English muffin or whatever to um, toast. Um, you don't have to toast it. I prefer to, and especially if you're in a dorm room, if you don't have all those things, then you, know, you don't have to toast it. But I do like that. So I'm going to open this up and put it in the toaster. And while that's toasting, I will, all right, got that, bring this out. And on the instruction, this tells you to crack eggs, stir, add bacon or sausage. Like I said, I wouldn't do bacon. Um, cook for about one minute and then serve on English muffin with a slice of cheese, even though they show a bagel. <laughs> so there it is. But I'm going to take one egg, just crack it, put it in here. If you want salt and pepper, Go ahead and do that. Of course, I got an eggshell in there, which I haven't done. Let me fish that out. I haven't done that in years, but of course, when I'm on camera, that's when it happens. Um, so I'm going to put a little salt, a little pepper. You don't need that either because basically the ham or whatever you put in there has some salt and some flavoring to it, obviously. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I give it a whisk with a fork. And it doesn't even have to be the best job. You don't have to make it like scrambled eggs, but it's better to do that. And then what I do is I'll take some ham, and I just have some Smithfield ham or whatever I have in the fridge, um, you know, ready to go. And I just cut it in half so it fits in here. But if you have smaller pieces or like little chunks, that's good too. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to close it up and just put it in the microwave. Just what, you know, you don't have to change the settings or anything. Just throw it in the microwave for one minute. Just put on one minute and I'll be nice and toasted. Um, this thing just went off. And I'm going to open it up and you see, nicely cooked. It has the salt and pepper. You have your ham in there. Uh, what I'm going to do is just scoop it out. And I use a big spoon or just a spoon and I just kind of go around the sides. And it comes out in one piece. I put it on that bottom uh, bagel. Put a piece of cheese and the cheese will start melting because of the heat of the um, egg. And my son, this is for him, he likes it with mustard, so I'm gonna put some mustard on there. And that's it. It works really good, really tasty, no extra fat because you're not using oil or anything like that to cook it. So it's always good, even just for the house, obviously. I have a few kids, and um, my husband, everyone likes to eat this for breakfast. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.